28th annual Grand Road Living History Encampment. We're out at the Grand Road Campground on West River Drive, hosted by the Briggs family. And this is the 28th year that we have done this. Uh, for most of those years on Friday, we've had a school day, which is what we're participating in right now, where we bring in roughly 400 local fourth grade students who are studying Michigan history and we rotate them through a series of different stations where they learn about early American pioneer life, mainly from the colonial period. A little history lesson on when the surveying started in Michigan and how and the land uh, use and everything of that nature. Each person at each station is hand-picked because of their expertise and their ability to relate to the kids and, and make it a, a meaningful and educational experience for them. Back then, when we had a long journey to travel, you know what was the best way to travel? Boats. By boats. You traveled by the water, eh? And the water was the highway. The 1750s, you're using firewood for heating your house, heating an outdoor campfire like this, cooking food, boiling water, anything that requires heat is going to require firewood. The bellows blows, actually blows air up from the bottom into the top stage, and as the top collapses, it blows air into my fire. If you take care of your musket, your musket will take care of you. With your teeth, put the powder in the pan, close the prison, powder the bullet down the barrel, drum your ramrod, ram it down, ramrod back. Make ready! Make ready. Freeze in! Freeze in! Fire! Indians, 1700s, we're here in Michigan, Chippewa, I am Chippewa, all right? We were one of the people that walked right here on the land that you're sitting. There was other Indians here too, I hope you guys get a chance to study who else lived here in Michigan. This gun is about the largest gun that they could field until 1812. We are here all weekend from about 9 o'clock to 5 o'clock on Saturday and 9 o'clock to roughly 4 o'clock on Sunday and it's, it's always been free to the public. That's one of the requests of the Briggs family that, that hosts us here. They, they want it to be free. So anyone who wants to come out is welcome on Saturday starting at 9 o'clock, Sunday about 9 o'clock. Uh, Sunday morning we'll actually have a, a period authentic church service if anyone wishes to take part in that.